Welcome to Bible Quiz Channel. Brace yourself for 30 engaging questions about King David. Can you master this biblical challenge? Before we start, don't forget to subscribe and hit like to help us spread God's word. After the quiz, please share your score in the comments. We're eager to hear from you. Are you prepared? Let's dive into the video. Question 1. David hosted the first debate club in Israel, discussing philosophy and law. What are your thoughts, true or false? Ponder for a moment. And so the answer is false. The Bible does not mention David hosting a debate club or discussing philosophy and law. King David is primarily known for his role as a military leader and the second king of Israel, as described in the Old Testament. Question 2. David was a landscape architect designing the Hanging Gardens of Jerusalem. Do you agree or disagree, true or false? Take a brief moment to think. The reveal shows us false. The Bible makes reference to the city of Jerusalem numerous times. But there is no mention of David being a landscape architect or designing any specific gardens in Jerusalem. Question 3. David was a skilled musician and composer of psalms. Your intuition, true or false? Please take 10 seconds to decide. The verdict is clear. It's true. Then answered one of the servants and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse the Bethlehemite, that is cunning in playing, and a mighty valiant man, and a man of war, and prudent in matters, and a comely person, and the Lord is with him. First book of Samuel, chapter 16, verse 18. Question 4. David was the creator of the first acoustic echolocation device, using it in the caves. Is this statement true or false in your opinion? Contemplate for 10 seconds. The appropriate response is false. There is no verse in the Bible that mentions David creating any acoustic echo location device. Question 5. David discovered the use of herbs in medicine, writing the first pharmacopoeia. What's your perspective, true or false? You have a moment to think. The awaited answer is false. There is no verse in the Bible that states David discovered the use of herbs in medicine or wrote the first pharmacopoeia. Question 6. King David had several wives and concubines. Do you concur, true or false? Take a short while to reflect. As it turns out, the answer is true. And David took him Mo concubines and Wayus out of Jerusalem, after he was come from Hebron, and there were yet sons and daughters born to Dawid. Second book of Samuel, chapter 5, verse 13. Question 7. David mourned deeply for Absalom when he died. 
Your judgment, true or false, give it 10 seconds of thought. Indeed, the answer is true. And the king was much moved, and went up to the chamber over the gate, and wept. And as he went, thus he said, O my son Absalom, my son, my son Absalom, would God I had died for thee, O Absalom, my son, my son. Second book of Samuel, chapter 18, verse 33. Question 8. King David designed a renewable energy system using olive oil. What does your insight say, true or false? Think for 10 seconds. <laughs> Unveiling the answer, it is false. King David did not design a renewable energy system using olive oil. While olive oil was commonly used for lighting in ancient times, there is no mention in the Bible designing a renewable energy system. Question 9. David is considered a man after God's own heart. Would you say true or false? Let's take 10 seconds to consider. The accurate answer is true. But now thy kingdom shall not continue. The Lord hath sought him a man after his own heart, and the Lord hath commanded him to be captain over his people, because thou hast not kept that which the Lord commanded thee. First book of Samuel, chapter 13, verse 14. Question 10. King David designed the city of David with advanced sanitation. How do you see it? True or false? A moment for your thoughts. Shedding light, the answer is false. It is not explicitly stated in the Bible that King David designed the city of David with advanced sanitation. In the Bible, there is no specific mention of King David implementing advanced sanitation practices in the city he established. Question 11. David hosted celestial navigation classes, guiding sailors by the stars. What's your discernment, true or false? Reflect briefly. The precise answer is false. There is no verse in the Bible that states David hosted celestial navigation classes, guiding sailors by the stars. David was a shepherd, warrior, and king of Israel, known for his bravery, faith in God, and musical abilities, but not for celestial navigation. Question 12. David revolutionized the field of meteorology accurately predicting weather for farmers. In your view, is it true or false? Take a moment to ponder. Factually, the answer is false. While David is known for many things in the Bible, such as being a king and a psalmist, there is no record of him revolutionizing the field of meteorology or accurately predicting weather for farmers. Question 13. David spared Saul's life on two occasions. Is it factual or not? <laughs> 
true or false. Think it over for 10 seconds. Upon reflection, the answer is true. And he said unto his men, The Lord forbid that I should do this thing unto my master, the Lord's anointed, to stretch forth mine hand against him, seeing he is the anointed of the Lord. First book of Samuel, chapter 24, verse 6. And David said to Abishai, Destroy him not, for who can stretch forth his hand against the Lord's anointed and be guiltless? First book of Samuel, chapter 26, verse 9. Question 14. King David showed mercy to Shimei, who cursed him. Your interpretation, true or false? Allow yourself 10 seconds to decide. The solution to this puzzle is true. And David said to Abishai and to all his servants, Behold my son, which came forth of my bowels, seeketh my life. How much more now may this Benjamite do it? Let him alone, and let him curse, for the Lord hath bidden him. Second book of Samuel, chapter 16, verse 11. Question 15. King David organized the first Olympic Games. Do you find it true or false? Reflect thoughtfully for a moment. The much anticipated answer is false. The first Olympic Games were actually organized by the ancient Greeks, specifically in Olympia, Greece. The Bible does not mention anything about David organizing the Olympic Games. Question 16. Absalom, David's son, rebelled against him. What's your conclusion, true or false? Take a brief pause to think. In essence, the answer is true. But Absalom sent spies throughout all the tribes of Israel, saying, As soon as ye hear the sound of the trumpet, then ye shall say, Absalom reigneth in Hebron. Second book of Samuel, chapter 15, verse 10. Question 17. David was the first to introduce the concept of zero in mathematics. True or false, according to your understanding? Reflect for 10 seconds. Conclusively, the answer is false. There is no verse in the Bible that states David introduced the concept of zero in mathematics. Question 18. King David mourned the death of his child with Bathsheba. Is this claim true or false in your mind? Contemplate briefly. Divinely speaking, the answer is true. And he said, While the child was yet alive, I fasted and wept. For I said, Who can tell whether God will be gracious to me that the child may live? But now he is dead. Wherefore should I fast? Can I bring him back again? I shall go to him, but he shall not return to me. 
Second Book of Samuel, Chapter 12, Verses 22 and 23. Question 19. King David painted the first mural, depicting the history of Israel on the temple walls. What does your wisdom tell you, true or false? Ten seconds to think. With wisdom, we find the answer is false. In fact, it was King Solomon, David's son, who built the first temple in Jerusalem and adorned it with various decorations and symbols. But there is no specific mention of murals depicting the history of Israel. Question 20. David committed adultery with Bathsheba. True or false, from your perspective? Give it a moment of thought. Illuminating our understanding, the answer is true. And David sent messengers and took her, and she came in unto him, and he lay with her. For she was purified from her uncleanness, and she returned unto her house. And the woman conceived, and sent, and told David, and said, I am with child. Second book of Samuel, chapter 11, verses 4 and 5. Question 21. David repented of his sin after being confronted by Nathan. Your belief, true or false, reflect for a short time. With patience, we reveal the answer is true. And David said unto Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. And Nathan said unto David, The Lord also hath put away thy sin, thou shalt not die. Second book of Samuel, chapter 12, verse 13. Question 22. David fled Jerusalem during Absalom's rebellion. Is this assertion true or false? in your assessment. Ponder for 10 seconds. The insight brings us to true. And David said unto all his servants that were with him at Jerusalem, Arise, and let us flee, for we shall not else escape from Absalom. Make speed to depart, lest he overtake us suddenly, and bring evil upon us, and smite the city with the edge of the sword. Second book of Samuel, chapter 15, verse 14. Question 23. David initiated the first public health system, providing care for his soldiers. Your decision, is it true or false? Take a little time to think. Reflecting on the teachings, the answer is false. There is no verse in the Bible that states or implies that David initiated the first public health system, providing care for his soldiers. Question 24. King David established the first botanical garden, cataloging plants from his military campaigns. In your estimation, true or false? Contemplate for a brief moment. The answer in truth is false. There is no verse in the Bible that states King David established a botanical garden or catalog plants from his military campaigns. Question 25. 
King David established the city of David. Is this statement accurate or not? True or false? Reflect briefly. Revealing the true response, it is true. So David dwelt in the fort and called it the city of David. And David built round about from Millo and inward. Second book of Samuel, chapter 5, verse 9. Question 26. David was a pioneer in the field of acoustics, designing the temple to amplify prayers. Do you consider it true or false? Pause for 10 seconds to decide. Disclosed with care, the answer is false. While David was known for his musical talents and contributions to worship, there is no mention in the Bible of him being a pioneer in the field of acoustics or designing a temple to amplify prayers. Question 27. David received God's promise of an everlasting dynasty. What's your stance, true or false? Allow yourself a moment to think. Bringing light to the question, it's true. And when thy days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build an house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men, and with the stripes of the children of men. But my mercy shall not depart away from him, as I took it from Saul, whom I put away before thee. And thine house and thy kingdom shall be established forever before thee. Thy throne shall be established forever. Second book of Samuel, chapter 7, verses 12 to 16. Question 28. David battled and defeated the Philistines multiple times. Is this fact or fiction? True or false? Think for a short while. Echoing wisdom, the answer is true. And David came to Baal-perazim. And David smote them there, and said, The Lord hath broken forth upon mine enemies before me as the breach of waters. Therefore he called the name of that place Baal-perazim. And there they left their images, and David and his men burned them. Second book of Samuel, chapter 5, verses 20 and 21. Question 29. David arranged for Uriah's death. From your viewpoint, True or false? Consider for 10 seconds. With discernment, the correct response is true. And it came to pass in the morning that David wrote a letter to Joab and sent it by the hand of Uriah. And he wrote in the letter, saying, Set ye Uriah in the forefront of the hottest battle, and retire ye from him, that he may be smitten and die. Second book of Samuel, chapter 11, verses 14 and 15. Question 30. King David invented a water filtration system, providing clean water to Jerusalem. Is it credible or not? True or false? Reflect for a brief period.
prophetically speaking, it's false. There is no mention in the Bible about water filtration system or providing clean water to Jerusalem. We hope you had fun and learned something new. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more biblical quizzes. Please drop your score in the comments. We're eager to see how you did and hear what topics you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay sharp in your Bible knowledge.